Hello, you wonderful people. Basically, this video is going to be about the whole division of like the MCU and just everything, you know, what it has to do, you know, with Marvel, with Fox. Basically, talking about where everything kind of stands right now. Like, so obviously, within the grand scheme, there's the MCU, and obviously, on the Marvel side of things, obviously, the Marvel Cin Cinematic Universe and how everything is connected in the universe. But obviously, like everything is connected, whether it's like Agents of Shield or whether it's like the Netflix TV shows like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage. But they're not directly influenced in the sense of like you will never see, probably at least I think at this point in time, you will never see any of those things kind of influence the MCU or like you'll never see like Daredevil pop up. I doubt they'll even ever mention him because it's something that it's, it's a whole conversation that I, it's very fascinating because I never really thought about this until someone else pointed it out. But basically TV shows are an investment all their own. Now like obviously I brought up the fact is that I'm a TV show person like I prefer TV shows to movies but obviously I watch a lot of the MCU movies at this point in time I'm completely caught up. Well no I take that back because obviously Guardians recently came out so I have yet to see that but but I'm also caught up with all the net I mean all the TV shows whether it's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or the Netflix stuff but the fact of the matter is those in themselves are an investment like like for example like Coulson will never pop up probably back in the MCU because you would have to go through the trouble of explaining yeah why he has been gone, and especially if it's, you know, because I'm sure there's plenty of people who watch the movies who've never watched anything TV related. So, you, you know, that's that's an entire season dedicated to explaining, like, where Colson was and, like, how the, how he's back to being alive again. I mean, me saying this to someone who's never watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., doesn't even know it's, it existed and has only watched the TV, who has only watched the movies, it might be like, wait, Colson's alive? I thought he died back in Avengers. Like, if you've never watched the TV shows, you wouldn't know that, which, obviously, you have to have seen promotional stuff for it at some point. So, I mean, th like, the show's in its fourth season. So, by now, you got to know that Colson's alive. Whether you know the exact circumstances of how he's alive, you got to know by now. So, that shouldn't be a spoiler to anyone, but maybe it is. Maybe someone's just starting the MCU movies now and they're just like, I just got to Avengers and he died and now you're spoiling it for me that he's alive. Thanks a lot, which I apologize, so sorry. Because, like, you know, a lot of people might simply prefer movies rather than TV shows. So for them, they're like, oh, they, they don't like the TV shows, which I don't, I don't. I mean, like I said, everyone's got their particular taste. Personally, I love the movies as well as I love the TV shows. But like I said, it's not for everyone. Everyone's got their particular taste and everything, so it might not meld well with other people, but still. And the whole reason why I'm bringing this conversation up, because it's, like I said, it's fascinating in the sense of, obviously, you have the divide between Fox doing its own Marvel thing in the sense of, like, obviously, you have shows like Legion and The Gifted, as well as, like, the X-Men movies and stuff like that you know, which will never be a part of the MCU. Because obviously you read articles and stuff like that. Because obviously a lot of people would want that to be the case. They want the X-Men universe and the Marvel universe to come together. And obviously people are like, oh yeah, you know, like, like X-Men would have to be terrible for that situation to kind of come about. Much like the Spider-Man situation, which I, once again, like, I don't think the Spider-Man movies were as bad as people make them out to be. I really like both of them. But, like, once again, that's, you know, the, my opinion, and everyone has their own opinion. Of it. But more often than not, most people are just kind of eh about the Amazing Spider-Man movies. So that kind of led to a lot of this Marvel situation being set up the way it is. Which even then, like, obviously, like, more recent reports are kind of like, even that's possibly not going to be lasting a lot like lasting for a very long period of time i mean granted that's just kind of been like said by former people related to sony and stuff like that so it's like none of that's clear cut you know as to whether that's true or not but that, you know I, I highly recommend if you're very curious to dive a lot deeper into it yourself but the thing is like much like the other tv shows would be an investment for the mcu so would be introducing the x-men because they built this entire universe already and so throwing in the x-men would be like wait whoa, whoa, whoa. so you're telling me there's been these mutants already so it's like what is that wait how do we not known about them throughout you know it complicate things a lot there'd be no way to just slide them in i mean granted like me like there's there's already a theory of like multiple universes and worlds that's already exist obviously within the marvel comics but it's also been introduced thanks to dr strange so there's a possibility like oh here's a different earth from reality that has mutants these people known as mutants because i mean also you have to think about like what does that mean for Spider-Man? Because Spider-Man falls under the category of mutant, which was also the whole thing of like, I don't know if Marvel's really explained what they're going to refer to him as. I'm just going to infer, refer to him as enhanced because I doubt they're going to refer to him as inhuman, you know, because he's not one. So I just it's like, oh yeah, he's genetically enhanced by spider 
radioactivity, blah, 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 blah. You know, I feel like that might be the case. Like, I understand why those two worlds have to stay separated because, you know, it just, it murky up the water and murky up the worlds that both sides have already built. You know, it's like, like I said, like, m like most people felt like, oh, X-Men Apocalypse was bad, which I've yet to see it, which I doubt is bad. It's, like, I'm always like more positive about things than most people, just because like, when I walk away from something enjoying it, like that's all that matters to me, so. But nevertheless, everyone's got their opinions about it. So that kind of put it in people's heads like, oh, maybe this will be the point in time where X-Men and, you know, the Marvel Universe combine together. Am I saying I wouldn't want that? Of course I'd want that because it just like obviously give you, it'd be interesting to see what, you know, Marvel kind of putting its twist to these characters. But at the same time, it's like if it, you also have to think about it in a sense of like if it was, if Marvel was involved, would that mean you'd ever get movies like Logan or Deadpool? Would they, would stuff like that exist or at least exist in the form that they do have? Because once again, like, you know, obviously Marvel's got its own formula to things and people are like, uh, they don't like stuff kind of being tailored to that formula. Like one example is like a lot of people are like, oh yeah, they like Edgar Wright's original idea for Ant-Man. It's like, oh, it would have been interesting to see his vision of Ant-Man, but obviously like, you know, Marvel got its twist. It's like, you know, got its hands on Ant-Man and kind of did what they did with it, which personally I really liked the movie, but not a lot of people liked it because it's like, yeah, it kind of fell in that formulaic formula for them. So formulaic formula, nice, uh, nice phrasing there. I mean, it says a lot to me like, because the fact of the matter is, if you take the gifted TV show, because I mentioned this in that video when I talked about the trailer, is like it's on both the Fox YouTube channel as well as the Marvel YouTube channel, which is kind of interesting to me. Which obviously, like, kind of break because obviously there's a separation between Marvel TV and Marvel movie and everything. So it's like everyone's kind of handled their own business. We're technically all part of the same universe, but at the same time separated. So obviously, some of the people connected to Marvel TV probably have their hands and you know say so with a lot of the fox stuff because it's like they actually used the term mutant which once again like fox has the rights to that word mutant the mcu can't use mutants which you know like, like i said it's just like i said i guess it's it's such minute little dealings that like i guess it doesn't have any overall effect to the universe built of the mcu in general tv shows included that it's such a small bubble for like marvel to have its hands in it it's not a marvel property it's a fox property with a little assistance from marvel i guess that's at least that's my understanding of it. i can be completely missing the point here but it's a, like it's, the whole thing is just fascinating like it's just interesting to me that like there's such a breakdown like that that such dealings work like this my question to you is like what are your thoughts about this whole situation obviously like this is where everything currently stands and obviously new reports and stuff that made it be like yep that's never going to happen now i'd be like oh this might possibly it's like nope it's never going to happen like you know both uh even people connected to the tv shows are like um very like yeah we're not part of the mcu it's kind of it's sucky like you built this whole universe yet our tv show isn't a part of said universe and everything we're not really mentioned or brought up and everything especially kind of bringing up like the whole inhuman situations like i'm not sure currently where that movie falls in that category because obviously it's it was slated kind of taken off the board but then it was like no it's not taken off the board, it was just pushed back. But it's like, what does that mean going forward because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has Inhumans. This is something I've talked about before. So does that mean you're gonna leave out characters like Daisy, AKA Quake, or Yo-Yo, and so on and so forth? Like, are you gonna forget characters like that for the sake of, you know, other, you know, people? Because it's like, obviously, once again, that's an investment in the TV shows to be like, oh yeah, you should have to watch the TV show to find out who this person Daisy Johnson is that just popped up in this movie. It's like, you know, like like I said, I understand where they're coming from because that's high, highly confusing and everything and it's a big investment, but still, you know. My question, you guys, is what do you think about this whole situation? Obviously, this has been a long um, standing between like, you know, obviously people wanting the two universes to come together, but obviously they're gonna stay divided until like the foreseeable future. Like maybe things will change, but as most, like I said, it seems highly unlikely. So it's like, to me, it's like that big X saying, no way these universes are coming together, it still stands, so. But even, like I say, even amongst the universes themselves, like in the MCU, like even the TV division and from the movie divisions, like, are you okay with that? Do you disagree with that? Are you fine with that? Because it's like, because they're TV shows, like for instance, because of the separation, Netflix can do more with what it wants to with the TV shows, you know, have a little more freedom and not necessarily have to 100% fall under the, 
formula that is like, you know, the MCU movies and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below your, just your thoughts about everything I kind of brought up in the video. Whether you agree, disagree, just let me know. I'd love to have a conversation about this. But really, that's all I want to talk about in this video. So the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.